Hello and welcome back to another video. What is that I spy with my arm? Is that one million cash? It is. I have saved up and we are back with another one million pack opening. Now, this could go either way. It really could. Uh, having, <laughs> thinking about what we have gotten previously, this could really, really go either way. But more we'll about that later. Anyway, uh, the schedule is as normal. We go two five times, then a seven times, then two five times more. I can't do this. And then a single survey. So just to start off. Yeah, but as I said, uh, this could really, really go a lot of different ways. We've pretty much had um, a, a, a diverse selection of uh, videos to choose from. We have the first one starting off at the really low end. With just five ultra rares. Then in the middle we have our second video, the one for the update. We opened a million packs and <laughs> a million cash. And you know what? It went it went decent. We got an air pick and such. That it's nice. It's nice. And then, <laughs> then we have last time. Last time was pretty much as good as you could get it. Like that was so spectacular. We got two great legendaries from one pack just after each other, and we got two. Amazing epics, which has helped me get another epic with a white body. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that's what we get. It really, really go a lot of ways. The Hammer, the Fabian Deo, the BMW M1, the Captiva, the Rango, Posh, and the last card is a Ooh, what's red? You know, you know. Four more of these, and we're already at the point of uh, the first video. So. Uh, uh, so yeah, I don't really have that high expectations because I have felt first time how bad this can really go. And is it really bad? And like, I'm only really promised 30 super rares, so... Like, getting a couple of rares should actually be, you know, it's above and beyond. Of course, you're hoping for more because who isn't? Like, you open these big packs, you hope that you're gonna get an epic early and then just keep on building from there, but... That really is the dream scenario, isn't it? But it's not like a realistic scenario. Anyway, Madarari Gipni. Sport Clio. Fortune. Sorry. Might actually be a card used in the pre-launch. No. <laughs> it's rival. And the walk, good car, and last card is A. So that's the first two packs actually. Those went by so quick. Uh, this video, <laughs> oh, actually, got, I've gotten a lot of uh, super rares already. No, but this video is really just turning into watch me turn a million cash into 30 super rares in 10 minutes or less. <laughs> oh my god. No, but yeah, it's, it's great fun. Like, uh, if nothing else, I'm getting the excitement of uh, maybe getting something. These, these 10 super remakes, like these 10 times, are always so weird for me because I used to do videos, like whole videos about. A ten times opening and sometimes even a five times opening, and now that's just like some of it, like the middle of it. <laughs> anyway, I just oh, that's a lot of cards here. Yeah, just remember I gotta go through these so meticulously because oh, you gotta get through. Mm, Strong. Okay, well we're not gonna keep. I'm not gonna keep this, but it's nice. Uh, I wanna say use material, but I'm probably gonna sell it. I'm probably gonna. Sell it. Not that Chevrolet actually, I want another one of those because 6.2 CF60 and what is it, 82 grip with medium ground clearance, that's really great for the RQ. So I do want to keep another one of those. And actually maybe another one of those Pichures as well because 6.0 CF60 and 82 grip, that's even better, still medium. It is a bit higher RQ though, but you know, it's useful. Plus I don't have that low level Pichures, so whenever there is a Pichure event, I'm stuck to using the high-end cards, which I don't really have either, but it just leaves me, um, often when they do these, uh, like, first events, it's always like, uh, like, or like, per show events. It's often like, uh, some three times per shows, two times something other, just French or something-ish. Uh, and I really want to go low on the per shows because those aren't really that good, and then I want to use, like, my Bugattis on the other juice, but I can't because I don't have the low-end per shows. Anyway, we're running Spiral. Infinity. Now we have 10 of these to go through, so let's just go Volvo, Mitsubishi, 
Dude, we're 45 at the moment. 47, like, uh, let's keep progressing. 47? Okay, let's not, I guess. 49. Could we get an ultra rare? No, we could not. Still not, but that is a nice car. I have like five of them and I haven't upgraded a single one. <laughs> anyway. 49, we're coming two cards left, I think. Woo! aren't that great in and of themselves but fuse material for legendary is so vital and i am so in the mood to fuse some epics at the moment i'll tell you more about that later but it's really just been a theme for the last few days anyway that's about it. so this video is already better than uh, my second best video so that's nice like it's uh, in the middle -ish. Montana, I know that I cannot pronounce all these names because that would take way too long. Mondeo, damn it. Uh, Smax. Fisher, sure that's the Fisher again. We're going in some rares. Mini Cooper. Piece of Nassau. Let's do this. Super rare! Super rare! Super rare! Super rare! Okay, we're keeping this 41. Are we gonna go all the- no, we weren't gonna go all the way 41. Because I can never predict shit. Okay, I'm gonna go 48. Ooh, nice car. This car actually- oh no, it's brother. It's another one of those. I had a couple. That car I actually was the last car uh, in my hand for beating the last round at the- around the World Challenge and getting me that legendary Pagani prize car. That's the only car I needed to upgrade, and I, well, not the only car, but that's the highest car I needed to upgrade, and then, you know, after having done that, I just about got it, and I got the car, and that's just amazing, and haven't really been all that useful yet, there's been one event where I could use it in, and it actually wasn't part of my winning squad, though I did get a carbon fiber from that event, so that's nice. Actually, I'm just remembering that carbon fiber, so I'll throw it at the end as sort of a bonus carbon fiber. Okay, guys, anyway, point here. So this is the second last pack. We do have a single pack after this, but that's not too spectacular. So, for the last cards, we're going to spot Leo. Find the Celtic. Porsche 968. This is... The Vark. Yeah, again, that's a nice card, but I don't think I need to. Maybe I do, actually. I don't need six of those, that's for sure. Nah, nah. <gasps> yes! Yes! Finally! Finally, I have been missing this car so goddamn much. Finally, I. This is my second G Wagon, the first one I got was shit. But man, do I need this. Oh my god, and this is the fastest one of the Ultra Rares. Yes! Yes, and the last card is a another, another epic, another oh yes. This video just went from zero to hundred real quick. Okay, and we got one pack left, so uh, let's uh, let's see what we can get in. I'm betting it's a super rare because you know gotta keep those expectations low. Plus, uh, I am I'm actually low on super rares at the moment. Well, I were a low on that at the moment. Second to last is a BMW X1, and the last card is a. Decent, 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 decent. Okay, so let's go see what we actually got. 147 guys. Let's just take these. We got 40 of those and we weren't even entitled to that. We got three of those, we were entitled to none. And we got three of these. And again, we were entitled to none. Actually, let's get those out. Those are not special, but these are. These are. Amazing fuse, amazing fuse, amazing fuse, amazing fuse, amazing fuse. So much of a key, I'm gonna just lock that one straight a freaking way. Really, where is that? Where is that? Where are you, my little baby? You're quite low, actually, which is an Arceus Yeah, there, there, there it is, there it is. So, real quick, I have had one other uh, car which I actually got from, I think it was Tri Series, and haven't actually packed them. Nope. But I have gotten this one, yeah, before. And it's like it's nice here to say, it's not that, but, but, but this one is. This one's better. And 
Yeah, it's kind of like rip, which should rip. That, that doesn't matter. I think it's 4 2, it goes down to. It's. It's just amazing. That's a. Really. It's been annoying so many times when you need, like, I don't know, just like, that's straight, just like that hill climb or something. You need that car and I don't have it. And for Mercedes events, especially, like, Mercedes squad is shit. I don't have any Mercedes. I really don't. And whilst I'm sure that I'll talk about how I have sort of gotten this obsession with actually. I want to upgrade a legendary, but I don't know which one and I don't know what for. Yeah, so this is my Mercedes. You see, no single super rare nowhere down here. Like, uh, it's, um, it's not the best, is it? No. I have actually now a fair few amount of epics. I think I have, I had like 15 or 18 before this. However, let's say, let's say around 20 epics. I don't mind fusing. And I have some nice legendaries, I could fuse them into. It's actually, I don't know why, but I especially want to fuse them into this, because, I don't know, I think this one could be a great group. But, I don't have a reason, and I just feel like, if I don't have like a tri-series in which I need the car, and it could actually help me maybe get some more cars, it wouldn't be worth. I just feel like I would be wasting those cars, so that's not, that's so annoying. And in, in all of my time playing Top Drive, in all of my 782 days, I've put two upgrades into this one. I've put two upgrades into my Hurricane, one into one of my tw uh, 12Cs, and two into this one. Uh, this one was my it's max, yeah, but you know, it, it was an epic. A max that's an epic, that does, doesn't count. And last of all, uh, I have these two. I have given this one one upgrade, which is nice, and this one too. And this one actually again helped me get a legendary prize car, and you know, so freaking worth Really, really worth and yeah, I do actually have a legendary that is usable for this prelim and, and for the final, but then you look at the rest of my squad and you're like, but is that really gonna make a difference? And you realize, no, it's really, really not gonna make a difference. Because while that and that car really is actually probably some pretty good cars for this, and if I have this on max, then maybe, I guess, but I don't. And that's not the car I should have in. And for the finals, you know, they don't, they don't just need to be German, like, they need to be German Renaissance, and where is that German Renaissance? I have nine cars all in all. So I couldn't have this one, and I couldn't have this one, and I couldn't have this one, as far as I can see, yeah. It's probably gonna be wet though, so that's nice, because that's really where my cars are at, so we would go for something like, I guess, this. But I don't, I don't think I'm gonna bring another one of these. I, I'm really happy about the one I do have, but I don't think another one's gonna be worth it. I'm definitely not gonna upgrade this one, it is much more valuable as Fuse because that grip just really isn't anything spectacular, so... It's a shame, it's a shame, but I'm really really looking forward to the next tri series and I'm hoping I am within a shot and that I have a legendary available that I can just put some cars into. I really want to upgrade a legendary. And this video has helped me get close to that, like it's, uh, it's more possible now. Anyway, I don't want this to drag out too long, so I'm just gonna say uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you want to subscribe, and I hope I can see you next time.